Tonight, we have a special segment for you. I sat down with Mr. Edgar Allan Poe, author of works that we study today, such as A Dream Within a Dream, Annabelle Lee, The Black Cat, The Cask of Amontillado, The Fall of the House of Usher, The Mask of the Red Death, The Pit and the Pendulum, The Raven, The Telltale Heart, and many more, brought back to earth for one night only, through a manner of some unconventional methods, and asked him a few questions, hoping to get to the core of the eerie prince of American Gothic literature. I wanted to explore the meaning behind some of his works and how they may or may not have reflected on aspects of his personal life. In fact, the countenance that we picture as Edgar Allan Poe is not how he looked for most of his life. He was well-kept, clean-shaven, until the death of his wife, leading into the rest of the downward spiral of his life. But if I told you all the answers, what significance would that leave in my work? Hmm? If I should, if I suffered hysteria, and d does, does that make my work any better? Does it make it any worse? Hmm? It, if I say that I studied psychology and mental illness, does that change the merit of my work? If I, if I say that I was crazy and had not uh, had a first clue of mental illness, does it discredit my writings? So if, 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 if stories were projected of the issues and turmoil within my own life, does it change, does it change the way you get out of what I wrote? So if I answer any of these questions, if we've learned anything today, what happens? What happens to my work, to my legacy? Hmm? You like to watch cat videos, huh? Yes. Do you like to watch them getting murdered? Mercilessly, no. like no. black cat? No. Or... Oh, heavens no. Heavens no. No, no. But I am writing a novel uh, about an animal murder. Oh. It's called Cecil the Lion. <laughs> and then the sequel's called Harambe. It's phenomenal. Oh. I'm waiting for a third one. What is your happiest memory? <sighs> My happiest memory. Do they even exist? He, like, uh, you see him a lot in the afterlife? No, he's frozen. He's frozen? Yes. Is he really frozen? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a woman. You know, there's believers. Do you know yeah. what the the Poe fan base is called? What? Emo. 